Hey, welcome back to the Melton Morning Show. If you didn't catch it before, I'm here with Chef Joey Pesner. He's the executive chef of the Zermatt and Homestead Resorts in Midway. Joey, welcome back to the second segment of the cooking. And or as I call joined, him, our friend with food. <laughs> the friend mm -hmm. with food. Yeah, so Joe is joining us this segment to, to help taste test, right, Joe? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, any guy named Joey and uh, I'm, uh, that makes food, I'm, I'm going to be friends with. Yeah. So I didn't see all the stuff you put in this. So can you kind of give me a quick rundown of what's in the, the, the dishes? Well, this mixture here, this is the this is the quinoa portion, um, and in this mixture, geez, I don't even remember. We've got asparagus, green beans, tomatoes, Some cabbage, onions. It looks like maybe green onions, yep. lots of fresh herbs, mint, basil, chives. Um, wow. A little bit of lime juice in there. So That's all good, all, all good the stuff, stuff I like. All the stuff. Yeah, this is great. So. It, can I go ahead and start putting the stuff on the yeah, plate? Yeah, oh, are you it. kidding? It'll That's be, the it'll be easier to see what this waiting. stuff is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, name the, the full name of this dish one more time. Oh, if you didn't man, catch it. that's hard. I, I'm just gonna call. I'm gonna call it quinoa with a fennel and kale salad. Well, that's still pretty long, Joey. <laughs> citrus and saffron dressing. Okay. And if you didn't see this before, this is the citrus and, and saffron dressing that that we cooked up um, a little bit earlier on the show. And mm -hmm. that includes uh, the fennel beans, the orange juice, and, and the saffron, like you were saying. And it's a mixture that's, I guess you'd call it sweet. We're gonna find out in a minute. And it's really healthy for you. It's healthy for you. You get the acid from the from the oranges. Mm -hmm. And when you cook it down, it's it's thick enough that it's gonna hold on to the rest of the vegetables and, and the rest of the salad without having to add oil. Nice. You know, if you put oil and vinegar, you put, vinegar by itself, it all goes to the bottom of the bowl. Mm -hmm. nothing, I hate that. Nothing sticks. Yeah. So that's why you need the oil <laughs> portion, but, for, but for, we're kind of cheating nature here and we're gonna we're gonna do it just with the oranges. Very cool, and what I love about this dressing, because it's so good, it's good for you, you can load this on, right? Like, you know how you like get your salad and you want to load on the ranch or, or your Thousand Island dressing, yeah. and that's not too good for you. But with this, yeah. you can put on as much as you want, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. To make it so it's to your taste and what you enjoy. So what are we putting on now? Well, this is the this is the salad with the kale and the fennel and the oranges. You know, I love the presentation. That, that is really the, the trick, right, of being a really great chef is, is presentation as well, as well as good food. Well, you eat with your eyes first, I guess. That's that's what they always say. But, you know, another, another trick, too, is, you know, something that I always think about when I'm trying to develop recipes, um, Something I learned way back when was things that grow together go together, oh. and these are, and when you eat with the seasons, these are pretty much all the vegetables that are going to be growing now, and they all pretty so much. So most of these are, are seasonal things. Absolutely, through nice. spring and summer, like the kales, when it gets really hot, they'll wilt out, but they're really good in the spring and really good in the fall. So, all right. so all these things, if if you if you pair food with the seasons chances are it's going to turn out pretty well for and it's going to taste better because it's with it being seasonal. All sure. right. So this there's those so two. This so yummy, this sauce. I'm yeah, excited this is, that. Well, this you're is, closest to the plate, mm -hmm. Joe, so I'll, I'll let <laughs> There's you a reason first. for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was like, Joe, go on the right side. I should have, I should have switched him. Yeah, so this one, we're just going to drizzle, drizzle this around the plate so you can take as much as you want. I am eating with my eyes right now, Joey. <laughs> yeah. It's working. Yeah. It's working it's for working. you. I'm eating with my eyes. <laughs> Good. And then just for some additional <laughs> flavor and sweetness, I've got just some some beets here that we're going to add really to this like plate. Beets. I didn't used to, but I've kind of grown a cut. I, I like the taste I of love beets. beets. They're good. Beets you know, I, I've started to use the juice for uh, for uh, color, too, you know, if you want to oh, yeah. change the color of something, you know, it's a little healthier than food coloring. Yeah, beets are pretty good. Well, for your That for looks your amazing, home. Joey. I'm quite impressed. Wow. And Joe, I like how you mentioned before that a lot of it has to do with the presentation. If 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 I was putting this together, it'd probably be in like a big bowl with right. just the dressing over it. So it wouldn't look bowls. nearly as yeah, appetizing. Better, yeah. So this looks really good. Uh, Joe, I'll let you try it first. Oh, you're so nice. Here we go. That's awesome. Well, you yeah, did the dance and you did the Zumba, right. so I'm going to be nice to you and let I'm you try right, that right, out. I'm going to get some sauce. So Joey, while well, well, you... While we're trying this, tell us, kind of give us a rundown of some of the other places to eat. This is the healthy version Holy of Toledo. things that you can do. Not bad for a bunch of green <laughs> stuff, huh? Uh, a I'm, bunch of I'm green stuff. That. <laughs> so, Joe, tell us, um, you guys actually have a new restaurant opening up. We do. We have we have Z Chop House is opening June 15th um, with the development of 
National mm. Institute of Health and Wellness. We're also developing our uh, chop house. I was on a while ago and made some schnitzel for you guys and some spetzel. So good. Don't I can't miss believe that. I missed that. It <laughs> was amazing. That was my breakfast. They're telling me in the back room they loved it. So good. It was amazing. And since then, I mean, we've been doing a lot of homework and um, going on field trips to Vegas and finding just, just all the best cuts of meat we can. So. And you're bringing them? to the Heber Valley. We're bringing them to the Heber Valley and you'll be to come in, able to come in and just get a fantastic meal. And you know, you can get in and out for 20 bucks and you can shop up the menu from there. So, wow. so good variety for everybody. So I have to ask about the sauce again. This was literally orange juice and fennel, that's it. And a little bit of saffron, and that's it. And a little it. bit of saffron. That's it. I, I didn't even you. season it. That is, that sauce is out of this yeah, world. Yeah, it like, it's a real, like, it's almost a surprise eating mm -hmm. that. It's like a pop in your mouth. It's good. I like oh, it. I, that's, yeah, just dish me up some of the sauce. <laughs> good. <laughs> and like and you know what? And you know what? Um, this is you know if you think I'm having a salad for lunch, this is a pretty this is a pretty hearty lunch. And again, with the quinoa and everything, you eat that you're you're gonna be you're gonna be full. Yeah. And you're gonna but you're not gonna be you're not gonna be weighed down. So. No, it's delicious. Well, where can our audience go to get more information about all these, you know, all the restaurants, including the, the National Institute of Health and Fitness? Well, you can go for you can go to the uh, website for Zermont, ZermontResort.com. Zermont all right. There you can find out about NIF. You can find out about the Chop House. We have Maddie's Bistro. We have our bakery there. So plenty of outlets. And then at the HomesteadResort.com, you can find out about Fanny's and about uh, Simon's Restaurants. They're both open and running and mm -hmm. doing doing great there. So that's right. And remember, the homestead was just redone. A lot of it. It is gorgeous inside. You walk in there, and it, it is just spectacular. The, the the redos that they've done to that resort, so beautiful. You guys have got to check that out, along with some of the great food they have to offer. Well, Joey, Chef Joey, thanks for having us, or thanks for being with us here on the show and preparing thanks this for feeding us. healthy. Of course. Just like, thank you so much. I'm <laughs> thrilled about this. So yeah, great to have you on the show, Joey. And yeah, I uh, hope to have you back soon. And thanks for coming on. And of course, yeah. we'll do it again sometime. Definitely. It's Joey Pesner with the Zermont Homestead Resorts. Be sure to check them out online. Um, so many fun stuff going on along with all their fantastic restaurants you can try out. We'll be right back here with more on the Mountain Morning Show. Don't carry me too far away.